Hey everyone, Creeper here. So today we're going to be talking about the Hello Boss episode, Cream B. Now this is probably going to be one of my shorter ones, mostly because the episode doesn't have a lot of story and really doesn't have a lot to talk about other than the animation was great and it had some music in it. Obviously that doesn't mean the episode is bad, that's just what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be some story-driven episode, it's just supposed to be for fun. Simple fun because the episode was actually not supposed to be the final episode of season one, even though now it is, even though it's released like two years later. It was originally supposed to be never made it was just supposed to be part one was supposed to be made but they added part two later on for fun because they had an idea for an episode so they just let it go in this episode we get to see Belozabud. i could totally be mispronouncing that i'm not very good at speaking <laughs> so this is the third prince we've seen we've seen lucifer and has no tail osmodeus in season one episode seven and now Belzebub in season one episode eight now, what's interesting is Belzebub is Lord of the Flies. That's what that means. But in this, she is a fox-like creature that has bee aesthetics, which is interesting. I That's an interesting choice. Whatever. Now, what I don't quite understand is that Vortex is dating B, which is Belzebub's nickname. Personally, I don't understand how the lowest species of all of hell, even below imps, when Stolas and Blitz are criticized for being in a romantic relationship, but a hellhound, which is below an imp, and a prince of hell, which is above Stolas in the Ar Ar Argarisa. Don't, I'm butchering that, but I literally have a speech impediment, so I can't <laughs> speak it. They are criticized for that. From what we see, the culture is kind of okay with these two. I don't get it. Maybe they'll explain that in future episodes. That's just something I kind of noticed. It doesn't really make sense to me. I could be wrong. You guys correct me in the comments down below. Something else that I like about the episode is the fact that Blitz being popular by some of the imps and hellhounds is what gets Luna to actually go back in to enjoy the party because, you know, she kind of got embarrassed when she couldn't speak to anyone and also the person she likes is dating already and she's da and he's dating a prince of hell, which is a little bit above your league. First time ever, we actually got to hear Luna refer to Blitz as dad. She does it twice in the episode, one near the middle, one near the end because he's such a party animal. And also she kind of feels bad for him because he's clearly had a very rough day. Something interesting is that B actually was concerned for Blitz because like he was super duper drunk and she being the Prince of Gluttony, that's gotta mean you've drunk a little too much. It also shows that she's not like a one dimensional bad person. That's it. That's all I had to say about the episode. It was a shorter one. It was good. I enjoyed it, but it's nothing crazy. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do so like and subscribe and creep her out. Socialism is when the government does stuff. And it's more socialism, the more stuff it does. And if it does a real lot of stuff, it's communism.